guys welcome back to my channel so today's video I filmed this look right here for you guys um, it's been a while since I've posted there's just been so much going on um, with my personal life dealing with my dad and making sure that he's well taken care of if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe and get notifications to when I post I am trying my best to post more but life is like freaking insane yeah so let's get right into the video to start, I'm going to use my Photo Finish Primer from Smashbox Cosmetics. I used to always wear this primer, and I think I finally just ran out and never went back. I don't know why, because it's a pretty good primer, depending on how my skin is. So next for foundation, I'm actually going to be using the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet in shade number 53, I think it is. I'll write everything in the description box. But I actually took a sample of this from work because I want to make sure that I really truly love it um, before purchasing it. So it's just in my little sample jar here. I know it's a little cheesy and corny, but hey, I want to make sure I'm spending my money wisely. And I'm just going to use a flat foundation brush. I think this is like the very first foundation brush I've ever got. I think it's from Clinique. Um, I usually don't use flat foundation brushes, but I'm going to use this and then just buff everything out with a sponge then. One thing I noticed with matte foundations too is you don't want to over mattify your face. Um, you know, I've used matte primers with the matte foundation and it was just not good. So just to buff everything out, I'm going to be using my blending sponge from the Korean Cosmetics. So especially using a flat brush to be specific or any brush. Sometimes a lot of the brush hairs um, leave marks behind on the skin so it's not like a flawless finish. Even everything out that I did with the flat brush. Definitely more of like a face sponge due to the fact that there's no precise point to it. Um, I mean, you can like squeeze it, but for getting smaller areas, I probably wouldn't use it. Next product I'm going to be using is the Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte Cosmetics, and this is in light medium. Definitely what I've noticed, you have to work quick with it since it is full coverage and it does set. I'm going to take my Real Technique since it comes to a point and blend out the concealer. So to set those areas, I'm going to go ahead and use my Kat Von D Translucent Setting Powder. Alright you guys, so I'm just going to skip out on filming my brows today. I do have a separate video of me doing my brows, which I will link in the description box. You guys can watch that afterwards. So today I'm going to be using the Mario palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm first going to go into the crease with Isabel. And I'm using my Sigma E35 blending brush. I'm just going to apply that right into the crease. shadow brush from the cream shop but I'm first gonna go in with Fifth Avenue and I'm gonna apply that right on the inner corner of the lid and just go halfway in and just bring it up to the crease next going in I'm gonna go ahead and take Kim and apply that in the center of the lid and just blending it right into Fifth Avenue Then I'm going to go ahead and take NYC. I'm going to apply that on the lid, but on the outer part that we didn't apply any product and making sure that I blend it into Kim. Blend everything out. I'm going to go back in with my E35 blending brush from Sigma. Let's go back into that crease where I put Isabel and just blend away. So I'm not going to show this part of the video, but a wing liner tutorial heading your way. And this is just the Sephora Collection Thin Brush. So for mascara today, I'm going to be using my X-Rated from Smashbox Cosmetics. So for lashes today, I'm going to go ahead and use my Lily Galici Lashes in Monaco. I'm going to go in and use the Rodeo Instaglam Compact Contouring Powder. To contour the nose, I am using a Tish Beauty, it's like an angled powdered brush. I'm 
And then from Real Techniques, I'm gonna go ahead in with my tapered contour brush and just contour my cheekbones. So to bronze up the face, I'm gonna be using my Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in shade one, which is natural. So for the brush today for bronzing, I'm gonna be using the Cream Shop blush powder brush um, that comes like this, and it's the marble one similar to the eyeshadow brush that we used. And then just really taking off that excess powder, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe that other powder away. I got a hair in my eye. So for blush today, I'm gonna be using my MAC blush in Gingerly. So for the lip today, I'm gonna to be using two liquid lip stains. One is Heather's from Anastasia Beverly Hills and the other one is American Doll. So I'm first gonna go ahead and apply Heather's all over the lips. Next I'm gonna go ahead and take American Doll I'm just going to apply that to the center of the lips. Taking my ring finger, I'm just going to go ahead All right, so to finish off the face, I'm going to go ahead in with some highlighter and this is from Artist Couture. And this is the Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray my Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter Brush, A23. I'm just gonna take my ring finger. I'm gonna take a little bit and just highlight the inner corners. Alright you guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys truly enjoyed watching me try some new products today and me creating this look just in general. Um, if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already because it would be greatly appreciated. Um, and also hit the notification bell to get notifications on when I post. If you guys recreate this look, I would love to see your looks. Definitely tag me on Instagram or Twitter. If you haven't already, add me on my Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. That's the only social media accounts that I have, all at Amber Rose Oatman. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.